welcome to episode 95 of Stoke Radio's Retro Lounge. Um, this week we're doing another crack at games we haven't played yet on the PlayStation. Sometimes known as the PSX. Um, PlayStation 1 for everyone else. Uh, so we've got a handful and if we don't get through them all then what I'll do is move them into the next time we get um, unplayed PlayStation. But we can't do anything while I'm here in this screen. So let's pop over to that one there. Boop. There we go. Oh, the PlayStation already. It's already there. Uh, and already in the screen, but possibly not at the right size, is... Um, our first game, because we're going to start with um, a game called Alice in Cyberland. Now, I do understand that um, PlayStation games a little bit more involved than their earlier counterparts. So we might not get very far through, but these are prime candidates for um, a revisit. If you ever want to see, if we don't do long enough on one of these videos, one of these games, then um, just drop me a line, retro at snugradio.co.uk, or message under this video and say, play whatever game a bit longer. Um, actually, what we will do first, before we do any of that, is we have a new pad. It's a replica of the um, Sega Saturn pad, and we're going to be trying it out tonight. We're going to be giving it a crack and see... How we get on, but it does have one of them on. So it's cheap feeling in the hands when compared to to an 8-bit do, or do, um, I don't know, the plastic feels of a better quality than an 8-bit do, but, you know, it wasn't cheap, and it also, surprisingly, comes with a dongle that lets you play it on an actual Saturn, now I do have a couple of Saturns, but it's been a long time since I plugged them in. But isn't that cool? Wireless controller on an actual Saturn. So, oh, we might have to dig that out at some point. I've got light guns too. I'm going to have to find a CRT from somewhere to play it. Anyway, that's beside the point. Let's get back to the, uh, the business screen. And see if, uh, or see how this pad works, shall we? I meant quality wise rather than how it works. So let's make sure we've got the right controller set. Okay, comes up on my machine as uh, a Nintendo Switch Pro controller. It ain't that. But you will notice it does have six buttons, which is good for playing six button. Um, Mega Drive games, yeah. And if we do any Saturn games, then uh, we'll also be good to go there. Twenty-two-year-old世紀東京さらに発展を続ける情報化社会。Oh Possibly going to be a short game of this. I mean, there's no point in listening to the thing, is there? Because uh, okay, at least we can skip it. So, what have we got? Japanese, that's what we've got. Hmm. 
bit Blade Runner-y. We're going to be clueless, aren't we? Oh, okay. So, this appears to be a fighting game where I put in the movements before I actually do it. So, we're not fighting real time. It's like a turn-based strategy. He hasn't tried to attack me yet. Can't do that one. Well, what a weird choice. Why why do you why is it not like say Street Fighter or something like that? Unless we're at a point oh, where... Okay. I mean, Street, Street Fighter had come out. Wow, the loading times are a bit long as well, aren't they? Well, it wasn't that big while I was fighting it. Weird, innit? Everything's in <laughs> Japanese. So, <laughs> But some of the writing on screen is English. Why's well, the game started or what? Or was that just Was that just a tutorial? あれ誰だ。ウサウサって何？可愛いよね、あの二年の子たち。そうよね、特にあのアリスってか。ね、すいません、ごめんなさい。There's a lot of cartooniness. I'm going to give it a couple more minutes, and if nothing else happens. seems that I'm choosing things to say which is going to be difficult in Japanese. Uh, right! Executive decision. Bye bye Alice in Cyberland. Um, we're going to move on to our next game. Because that was pants. And not particularly the game's fault. More more that I don't understand Japanese. Uh, right. Let's try this one then. This one is Activision's Blast Chamber. Um, again, these are kind of picked at random by their titles. So, 
I don't know what any of these games are and it was only like perhaps half an hour ago that I checked they all worked so I seem quite quiet but I do I've had um, some sort of problem with my hearing so maybe I've turned it up too far I have to wait till nothing goes to comes online to find out okay so we've got people in cages fireproof suits and they're going into a blast chamber Play. What am I doing here? Because uh, obviously I've got buttons that are mapped, Sega buttons, A, B, C, X, Y, Z, not PlayStation controller buttons. Ah. So I'm red. What have we got? What have we got? Got a jump. Oh, I've just got a jump. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? Possession red. I mean, can I kill him just by doing that? Oh, I wonder, do I need to get on the red X? So, I'm obviously not, um, I've got, I've obviously put um, normal players rather than computer players, uh, so they're not going to do anything, so I am going to win this. <laughs> Believe it or not. Adding 25 seconds red. So I guess we fight for this normally and get to our corners. And while everyone's moving all the screen around and shit, you can't get to your square. Um, so, is there a quit? Can I... Um, I can't seem to quit out of it, so I'm, I don't know how to, um, I wonder if, if, if I just die, if that's what it is. I mean, it would be nice if they died when you did that. That would be quite humorous. So I'm not going to, in fact, I'm going to go and stand with these guys and see what happens. Five, four, three, two, one. I didn't die. 
But I do notice there's a big timer at the top. It's going five, four. Okay. Winner red. Cal surprise. Okay, so I assume we're wearing vests that will kill us then. Right, so I think I'm pressing back there. Okay, so... How do I get to the other guys now? Red player ready. Blue player ready. Green player ready. Yellow player ready. Right, so now I'm going to get my ass handed to me. I'm fairly certain. Why do I keep falling over? Do you know what? I was <laughs> watching yellow. Oh, dickhead. Possession blue. Possession possession red. Possession yellow. Twenty five second. Yellow five. Possession four. Three. Possession blue. One. Possession red. Possession five. Possession blue. Five. Four. Three. Possession three. One. Possession blue, subtracting twenty seconds. Red, possession three, possession yellow, possession blue. Possession yellow, possession red, subtracting twenty seconds. Green, possession. Did I just give them extra time? Oh no, perhaps I didn't. Possession blue, possession yellow. What's fight on this? Don't get a lot of possession when I'm uh... Wow. Well, okay. Winner yellow. Winner yellow. Told you I was gonna come last in that, didn't I? Jinkies. Um okay, so um I'm a little bit like do we go again? Do we do we I 
I'm going to say probably not. Let's just have a quick look at the options. Okay, well, we're not, so we're not playing it again. It doesn't matter, does it? And there was training, though. Shall we have a quick look at the training? No. No, we won't. There we go. Blast chamber. Gonna have to slow down on these. I'm gonna get get through them too quick if I'm not careful. Um. Okay. So we're still in the bees. We're staying in the bees. And we're gonna try blockbuster. The um simulation game of running your own video store. Possibly not. Let's see what we've got here. How's it looking on screen? Oh, breakout then. Uh, should we go straight to the options first? Is fast going to be just too fast? Is it going to make me like, oh, I don't really know. Let's just play it as it is and see, shall we? feel a little weird that we've got um, a, a breakout game on the PlayStation. Although, I mean, look, that's basically what I do here, isn't it? Play games from a bygone era. Um, you just feel that... I mean, this... Well, no, not even this, no. I was going to say, this was amongst one of the first video games I ever got. Um, but, I mean, this is basically Pong, isn't it? For all intents and purposes. You're just not playing against somebody else. But... I like it. Because I know what I'm doing. I don't need to worry about the country I, I mean I know what it does I know the rules more or less and I don't want to worry you or anything but you know this feels like the sort of game that I could end up playing for ages and ages um or a what if I play like that? Don't seem to want to bounce corner wise, get like Katie Corner off my ear. Uh... Wow, don't really know what happened there. See, in other games I've played, the fact that it sat on that far right corner would mean it'd shoot off to the right, but with this, I don't know. No, it goes straight up, see? And you can normally make it bounce off. Control it a little bit. Wow, I like that. We've got them going sideways though, now we need them to go upwards, don't we? Because we need more of a 
vertical bounce on it. Wow, it slowed right down. Come on. Thank you. Oh, what have we got here? Let's try up that way. Speeding up a little bit now. It's all right having all the extra things flying around, but they're destroying my shield. Did that just say become soft? bomb do oh fucking asteroid I don't know why I said that because it does help you it just hides the ball you can't tell what's going on oh dear I think we should put a limit on the amount of these that I'm going to do, because... Uh... could find myself spending the whole hour doing this and then go, oh shit. And the other thing that does worry me is we've got an M&M's game later on, which... Um... I know there's at least one M&M's game. Oh, it may be Tetrisy. may not be breakout -y. But it has got break in the title, so... Oh! wonder why it lets you do that. What's the wobble the screen for? get it inside that hoop before I lost too many bricks. But it's too late now. I wonder what age range this is aimed at. Because it does feel quite easy. I wouldn't have got this far in the arcade version of Breakout. Shit. Ah. That's because I said it was easy, isn't it? Oh, they're not dying. Okay. Oh, they're just bouncy ones. You have to get past them.
Oh no. So I'm gonna have to get them in sideways. Like that. There we go. Oh no, just one? Disappointing. Let's try this side instead then. Nope. Oh. Say, last one now. It's more like it. See, it was just being easy to um, just fake me out. Yeah, it gets super fast. <laughs> wow. Which is good. I didn't want to sit here for ages playing this if it was super easy. Uh oh, here we go. Let it destroy my shield, why don't you? No! No! Ooh, didn't think I was going to get there fast enough. Getting near the end now. Oh, dickhead. I wonder if I can keep it slow or if it automatically speeds up. Oh, just did it then. Come on. I just want to get that, at the very least, get that last uh, prize thing. I think we'll call this the last screen, whatever happens. Um, we won't play any more of this. I thought we are getting through our games reasonably speedily. Today, I even hit it as far as I could on the left-hand side and it still didn't shoot off at an angle. See, it's got a shallow angle on it now. Come on. Oh, Joe. Well, look, there we go. 
Breakout! Oh, Blogbuster. Um, didn't, <laughs> didn't dislike that. Although, it, it does harken back to my youth, and um, it's not a complicated game. As, as we moved into um, the PlayStation era, and the PlayStation 2s and 3s. We had games which lasted hours. You know, like you'd, you'd play games that lasted... If it lasted eight hours, you were disappointed because it wasn't long enough type thing because you paid more for them. Um, but I never really got on with games like that because I like a game... There's only like a handful of games that I've spent hours and hours playing. Be possibly because I grew up in the 8-bit, like the beginning of it, the 8-bit era and that sort of thing. I've always preferred games that you can just turn on, do a little bit, and then just stop, you know. Um, so let's move on. Enough about me. Uh, let's move to um, a Bomberman game. Now, we did a whole show on Bomberman quite early on. Um, it'll be in the playlist. It'll be in the archive somewhere. But this is called Bomberman Fantasy Race. And I wonder if I never played it on the Bomberman show because I was saving it for a, a, a racing show, a driving show. Um, but if that's the case, I've totally screwed it up now because uh, we're going to play it now. Um, it looks like it's different size, so let's just size it right. Yeah, it's a weird aspect ratio. Why is that? I mean, one assumes it's bomber man, but racing. Yeah, that's fine. Go back. Go back. No. Uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, you're not going to let me play because I don't have a card in. No, maybe you will. Press the select button. Okay. All right. So, need to get past this screen. So, have I pressed load by accident then? Yes, I have. I've been a dickhead. <sighs> Should play it as. Bomber man, shouldn't we really? Fooled you, I don't have a card in. Um, okay. Well, I just want to play the game Bomberman Fantasy Race. That's all I want to do. Do we feel this may have been influenced a little bit by um, Mario Kart at all?
pressed OK because I thought that said one player mode. Oh, right. So I've got two choices. I can either play some weird Rhinoceros Stegosaurus looking beast or some sort of fluffy bunny. Let's go with a fluffy bunny, shall we? Select the course. Well, oh, I'm not selecting a course, am I? I'm selecting things to use. Like green mushrooms and shit. Oh, very expensive then. All right. Can we get, can we okay? Can we, is that okay? Yep. Yeah. Now we're selecting the course. Well, let's, that's where it started off, isn't it? So let's try that one. Now, if you're, um, if you're a regular watcher of Retro Lounge, you know um, how skilled I am at driving. Bit late now, innit? Don't forget to buy weapons. Well, we've started the race. Okay, so what do we think? Oh, let's accelerate. So we've got a jump. So where's where's shoot my weapon? the fire button but it's in a weird position <laughs> oh. and now I can't control it I'm going from side to side like an idiot there we go so right I could do with some something that speeds me up is that it oh I like that watching the bomb didn't watch the uh, I want another clock just getting bombs is there, a, is there something that makes me run faster that's my bombs Oop. that's just changed the camera so the bombs that I'm dropping are they Oh, that got him. Right, I've got some sort of egg. What's the... Oh. Well, that's not fair. So, that's it. Is that a shortcut, then? I mean, it's called fantasy race, isn't it? I suppose. It's not called anything cart. It's not called Bomberman cart. Yeah, well, look at that. That's a surprise. I came last. That's strange, that. So, I don't... so the, the, this is this is accelerate, and that's bomb. So I'm going to have to hold accelerate with the bottom of my thumb and uh, uh, do we want to do yeah, oh, go on let's do the same one let's try a different animal shall we oh we don't have a lot of money now so let's not bother OK, 
Okay. I know it was in Japanese, but it sounded like it said bastard then. Yeah, it does, it is a. Uh, you jump on it or something. Oh, I keep running through the. Oh. So I think he's a little faster, but I'm not sure what his turning's like. Bomb. I bombed myself. Oh no. What didn't do what I expected? Where the bloody hell am I? Jeez, I don't put me so far behind that I can't even see. Jeez, I want more, more of them. I need them. That Jimmy. Oh, my God. That's because of that time, time thing. That's if you were playing with somebody and they whipped that out, you'd be so cross. That's worse than a blue mushroom. Uh, should we, uh, let's see what other options we've got. Try, try and collect all the coins to get more coins. Oh, bonus game. Did I just blow that because I went too early? Line, you daft apus. Don't know why I'm throwing bombs out. It, nobody behind me. Oh, for frick's sake. He does move better when he's moving at full speed.
I mean, saying not saved, does that mean... Oh, there we go. So if we ever play it again, I've got 819 gigabytes. <sighs> Do we try a different course? I think we should. Look, there's got extra bits there. Secret shortcuts. I never do the shortcuts. Poor little brain can't handle it. Oh, it costs... Costs money. Okay, okay. Uh, all right. Let's have a look at Fantasyland, shall we? Don't miss the jump pads marked with an exclamation mark. Okay. I think they went over the line before, right? Oh, he, he gets up a lot of momentum and he... I'm going to have to slow down, aren't I? Around corners and shit. No, I can't. I'm going to have to learn how to jump as well. That's not how you do it. Right, it's going to be quite interesting because that's a different button that I can't reach with my thumb. Oh, it was a trick! I'm a long way behind out, I know. you got that thing coming out of your ass that does have oh wrong button cock they're gonna lap me not in a good way oh swoon again gosh darn it am I supposed to go around that See, when you slow down, his turn circle gets super tight and then it's difficult to get hold of. But at least going this speed kind of moves how you expect. anything at all. I'm sure I jumped over it the first time. I'll do the pick. Well, if it wasn't my last lap now, it would be. Doesn't blue shell anybody though. Do you know what? I should have stuck, stuck to being a winner on the previous, um, the previous one. <laughs> anyway, all right. Look, it's a racing game with the Bomberman in it, and you bomb things. Uh, Bomberman Fantasy Race 
on the PlayStation. Um, okay, we're we're about halfway through, and we're about halfway through. So um, let's check out. We're moving partway through the alphabet. We're going to the J's. And we're going to Jinx. Whatever that may be. Again, different aspect ratio for some reason. Um, okay, so let's see what Jinx is. game Merkins what 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 on earth is going on Well, I don't know what the square button or the circle button is on this D-pad, on this pad. Let's see what that one does. Feels to me like we're only going to get through the tutorial section of this. Go through the main chamber and enter the only open portal. Okay, I think I can do that. I can manage that. That's the one with the blue jewel on the match inside. And there you'll find a functioning wind portal. All right. Bloody don't know what the triangle is, do I? That might be, might be X. Just feel like I'm going to have to get a a pad for each of the systems because we've been telling we're getting an N64 pad because that has all sorts of different buttons but right let's leave mm, perhaps we don't leave through there nope where do we leave through Jump through an open window. Whee! No, maybe not. Whee! No, we can't. We can't get onto that open window. Mm, we we'll go through it. Ooh! Is that something? That's what he was talking about in it—a a gem. So, is that a portal? Nope, it's not a portal. I did say go outside though, didn't he? I suppose you should do as I'm told. <coughs> yes. Oh, was that no? Uh, yes. Just worn yet. I can't see us playing this for very long. Alright, so we've played games like this before. I think we've played a Muppets game like this. Where you collect stars and shit. Or you don't actually shit, but you collect stars and you do things. The, the, we are well in the 3D platforming era. 
with the PlayStation. Let's not read. Which one's read? Oh. If I can and touch it and press things, stay at a line of fire. Right, okay. Okay. So, which one is it? Nope. Is it this one? Stars. So don't need to do anything else around here. Don't need to read that. Is that just going to say, oh, collect stuff? All right. So double jump. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wish that I'd um, got a better controller for this, aren't I? So then, right, that's camera controls, that's inventory. What's that one? Spin the camera. So that's zoom in and out. Okay. Uh, is he coming back alive? Do I need to hit him again? Yep. Yeah, I do need to hit him again. Yeah, you little bastard. There we go. Are we reading? We're not reading. No, it's not that one. It's, is it that one? It's that one. Stand in front of the chute and press an unknown button <laughs> to roll the beach ball. Okay. So I think. They're the buttons that I was pushing to um <laughs> I'm pushing the blame to me what's going on. Right, whichever button Right. Stand in front of the chute and press the button I've just pressed now. Right, which is X. So X is green triangle. Do we need to be seeing the beach ball? We do. We need to be looking at it, not stood on it. Okay, okay. Like more stars or some such. That's something we can pick up. Yeah, okay. We've got everything we can pick up in here. Oh, no. There we go. Oh. Well, we sounded like we picked that up, but what did we? Oh. Now my button for reading's changed. Okay, whatever, whatever that was, I think I should have hit it with someone else. OK. 
Okay. Do I have to get back off? Can I just drop down there? Nope, not that one. That one. Well, there are stars down there, so let's just... In fact, could I have done that anyway and just... Oh, no, you can't get out. You can get back this way, but you can't get... Gosh darn it. Right, okay. I'd love to know what that is. Why... Why can I not do anything with it? Was it a save point, perhaps? Perhaps it's a save point. Hey, look, I've got a key. So, how do I use it? buttons. Oh, got carried away there. Literally. Okay, another save point. Dead. Oh, you rascal. Oh, lots of them. Oh. Obviously jumping too far onto it and then in a rush to get off. Because I have a feeling that some of these are just going to disappear with me on them if I'm not careful. Some heavy objects may be pushed. Well, okay then. So it's one of these sorts of games, is it? One assumes that they're going to stop when they're in the right place. Yes, they are. Okay. So this one has to go this way, surely. Oh, Houston. Oh no, we can get behind it. Good. I had a horrible feeling it was going to be one of those where it was stuck against a wall and I'd done it in the wrong order. Ooh. I do wonder if they'd only push one way. I'm not finding out. Got a heart there. Nope. Maybe we need to do a. Nope. Okay. Let's not worry about it. It'll only make us have to play the game longer. If we get extra life. Ready to run? Do I look like I'm ready to run? What's that then? What's run? Oh, now I have to run backwards. Great. Gonna want that extra life, aren't I? Can't I run forwards instead?
I see. It's like that, is it? Is that something here that I need to look at first? No, it wasn't. Okay. Spikes? More spikes. Look at them. Cheeky little monkeys. What are we going to do here then? Um, I'm going to go. <sighs> Jump. Jump. Missed it. There we go. Uh, right. We need to put some sort of time limit on this, don't we? Oh! Okay. Should I have been doing something? Just gonna jump off here just in case. Oh So why did it show me that? Should I have what what uh, What was the problem down there? Is it, it say is it was it saying, oh look, you missed some stars? Or was that an important part of it? These questions that we'll never get the answer to. Or might oh no, we'll never get the answer to it. Waste the bombs. No commoners may swim in the moat. All right. Where's that star? There it is. So, we obviously have to jump on a boat, don't we? But also avoid the cannons. Hmm. Okay. So where did the cannonballs go? Did they just go on the grass? Or oh, maybe they don't. Um. Can't get out though. Can I get onto this? No. Oh. Okay. So we do have to get on the ball. Oh no! Dag. Oh, oh, I could jump out then. Couldn't jump out before. should probably call it a day for this one um, again it's one of these we can save our progress and can always do a revisit if you so desire but for now that was jinx jinxy jinx um, and we're staying in the J's for another one while we move to Johnny a Bazooka Tone. Now, it was showing us unplayed, but I do feel I recognise the name. Maybe we've played it on a different system. Or maybe I'm just misremembering in my advanced years. We'll 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 see. We'll see. Yeah, I don't recognise him. Oh, 
Ooh, get an earache. All right, I've got no idea what to expect now. Let's start the game and see what happens. Oh, that sounds like, that's weird. Okay, so then what would shoot? Don't know what that is. So we do have a jump, but it's not high enough to get that. So. Do we jump on its head? Do we climb up a tree? Yes, we do. Right, so how are we gonna, how are we gonna, which branch do we get off to get the perfect arc for them? It's gotta be that one. Nope, can't jump far enough. And it doesn't, it doesn't appear to have a double jump. So I feel it's probably got to be this one. Well, shall we jump the other way instead? Shall we not jump at all? Because it's irritating that I can't get up there. Oh, right. I got up to... I got up there fine before. Why well, can't I do it again? I mean, what a weird soundtrack for this as well. <sighs> Too many buttons. Right, so the spike's bad. No, you can't jump over the spikes. Thing's gonna get me as I jump. Oh, no, that's not jump. What's jump? There it is. No. Nope. Right. Why can't I jump on that? Stuff up there for me to get. Up and downy. 
I don't know how I climbed up there. Ow. Oh, I keep forgetting what my fire button is. Looks like all the monsters stay dead, though. The ones that I killed, anyway. This? Come on, let's let's have another go, shall we? Now is continue gonna start me again, or is it gonna remember that the things are already dead? Gonna start me again, miserable bastards. Get that jump at all, can I? Obviously not a jumping mushroom. Not a phrase I thought I'd say tonight. that was it was good what we got then sure sure it is okay 
how do we do big jumps? Nope, none of that. Can't get. Oh. Can we get any higher? Well, we can. All right. Oh no! Do I have to do that to? I have to get under that. Oh. Oh, now what? I'm not going to get over there, am I? I'm supposed to get over that. Oh, so then I noticed the mushroom was changing colors. Oh, he's all sad. Okay, there you go. Johnny Bazooka Tone. Kind of what I expected. But when I saw the, the, the start, it was like, what? Uh, see, what's, what's suck? What's that option? I'm going to have to get a PlayStation pad, aren't I? I really am. There you go there you go um oh well, let's have a look we'll perhaps do maybe one more perhaps two two one or two more let's see how we get on um because we're getting to the uh the m m game that we we're talking about earlier on this one's m m shell shocked so Simon. So what sort of game do we think it is? Super quiet this, isn't it? Level one, get out of town. Well, my yellow fellow, it's time these M&Ms had a little R&R. R&R? Is that a new candy? Are we being phased out? We are going on vacation. Come on. One last thing before we arrive there, Chief. Who did you leave in charge of the candy factory? Hello? It's what? They what? And what? You're turning red. Er. Repeat after me. I did not leave the M&M's Minis in charge of the candy factory. 
Has your chocolate melted? Have you gone completely nuts? Well, the minis aren't that bad. All they need is a chance. <laughs> All you need is a brain donor. Get to the factory, pronto! There's a Minis mutiny going on. They've stolen the formulas for all the M&M's candies. Stop those Minis, find those formulas. Go, go, go! There goes my partner. Hm. There goes my career. Okay. Driving game then? Was it? Multiple games. Mini games, you might say. I guess we're running into everything that we can. What have we got? So I don't appear to have buttons particularly. I've got a button that doesn't seem to do anything. Oh. You think there'd be some sort of accelerator, wouldn't you? Perhaps we don't need to go any faster. This it? Where did I crash? Oh. Well, I know I crashed on that car less this time, but... It's weird that there's no other controls to this other than left and right. Oh, I see. We're at a safe point there then. Oh, you can't go on the pavement. All right. Ah, uh, those things block you off. So, then, what do we do here? We do that. Oh! Rebel scum. Oh, it's putting me back to this place over again. Can we not hit a separate save point? Oh, is that a ramp? Tag nab it. Whoa, I've hit it again. I'm gonna hit the ramp this time though. Well, let's hit the pavement first because we're not concentrating. Ooh. OK, 
guess we're here. Uh -huh. Thanks. Springs from salt. Lurking in the background. Waiting. To hit me with a pithy comment. Oh, just arrived. Okay. Well, nice to see you. We're nearly ended. But nice to see you anyway. Right, so it's this game all the way through then. Okay. I think we probably don't need to play too much of this then. As soon as this is all it does. So it's a endless runner, temple runner type doobry then. be avoiding learning the song for this week's snug. It's show 1000. that again. How annoying. Do you know what? It's a stupid game. We're going to move on. We're going to fit. We're going to fit one more game in. We're going to... Oh... No, we're not. That was it. That was the end of the... That was it. The end. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to move the remaining two games because I don't know what they are. They could be long-involved games. So we're going to move them to next time. Um, and we're going to say that it's time to move to the wheel. The wheel. Uh, sorry, Springs from Salt is asking, what year ends retro? Well, it's a movable feast, isn't it? Because we're getting to a point where PlayStation 2 is going to start PlayStation 3. They're, um, it's usually a 25-year cycle. Um, ish, ish. I mean, generally, I play the games that I played as a kid. Okay, then. Let's uh, spin the wheel. Hey, look, it's my show. I'll do what I want. Marvel! Okay, we're going to play some games with Marvel characters next week. Yes. No driving at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Driving? Phew. No. We've done enough driving in this episode. Um, okay. Right. I will do some work in creating a Marvel show for you. So let's go back to this screen and say um, thank you. Thank you for spending some time with us this evening. Um, we're live every Monday from 7 o'clock for an hour and a half to two hours, depending on the games. 
and um, you can also catch us on YouTube. In fact, you may be watching this on YouTube. So come and join us on Twitch, 7 o'clock on a Monday. Um, but we're also available on email. Email, that's the one, email. Retro at snugradio.co.uk Retro at snugradio.co.uk That's also the website, snugradio.co.uk Home to our 20-year radio show called The Snug. Um, coming up for show 1000 this Wednesday. Um, and 20 years in May. So, there you go. Um, but we're also on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok... And obviously Twitch as Snug Radio. And if you really want to chat, you can get us over at our Discord. We have a Discord and the link is in the show notes. Um, and I think that's everything. Um, so although she's not here, Nutty Cluster Extraordinaire does have a Redbubble shop called Inky Spiration. And uh, I also have... a. Uh, sh uh, these links will be in the show notes you don't have to remember them, they'll be in the show notes um, called The Glorious Idiot where we produce designs for t-shirts and stickers and phone cases and wherever you want to print them so um, it would be nice if you had already headed over there to have a look but for now I'll say Thank you for joining us. This has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Play something retro. I've been mad. Goodbye. <laughs>